the hips are one of the most difficult joints to open. Working towards things like this leg behind the head that I'm doing here can be a real challenge, but today I'm going to give you some nice deep hip opening postures that will allow you to really get go in that direction. It's a good idea to warm up before that, and you may find that the basic hip openers that I've given you in another video are a good way to do that. But for today, starting from a downward dog, you're going to step your right foot up between your hands. Once it's there, notice your back heel is going to turn in and down. Notice the heel doesn't stay off the floor, it's turned in and down to a 90 degree angle. Now step your hands away from your foot and bring yourself to about 45 degrees. Not 90 degrees over there, but again, it's 45. Once you're here, slowly start to take your right knee away from your hands. And as you do that, you should start to already feel a nice deep stretch. Move your hips away from your hands as well, and then feel yourself sinking into this position. Your elbows may or may not come to the floor. Feel free to just hang out with your elbows off the earth and find a deep stretch there. Spend as much time as you need, and then when you're ready, coming up a little bit, start to take your head towards your ankle as your right shoulder comes underneath your leg, as deep as it wants to go. Notice that you're going to turn toward the leg, not turning away, but turning your chest to face towards your leg as much as possible. And that should give you a nice deep stretch. But if you're not feeling that it's enough, well, first of all, Notice that your back foot isn't going to be too far back. It's really unstable over there. It's difficult to support yourself on your legs, which is what you need if you want to start to go deeper here and start to work your head under your leg. So make sure you've got that solid foundation, and then maybe you can take your head underneath the leg here. If you're there and you want to go even deeper, you can start to look up a little bit with your head. It'll draw you through that hip and give you a nice deep stretch. Now this is going to take time. You may still be working with the head outside, and that's just something you want to work on every day. Slowly, you'll go inch by inch deeper into that position. Remember, once you've finished one side, of course, you want to try the other side. Make sure that you keep your body nice and balanced, so the other foot will step forward, the knee moves away from the hands, and again, you're sinking your hips away from the hands as well. You can figure that out, or just watch the beginning of the video again. When You've done both sides, step your right foot between your hands again, and notice it's going to come to the middle, not over toward the right, but towards the middle of your hands. Turning the foot so you're on the edge of the foot, the inside lifts off, and then dropping your back knee. Notice that you're going to start to sink your hips nice and deep in this position. The knee is turned to face outward. If you want to go deeper, walk that back knee back a little further. Maybe start to sink down with your head. And notice that the head comes toward the foot, so it's not way out past it. If this position is feeling impossible, try this one here instead, taking the knee towards the hands instead of the foot, and then working the back leg back, sinking into that. A good way to approach this pose. Once your hips are open, you can work deeply here, and just sinking into it, again, the knees turn toward the outside, your hips are sinking toward the floor. Relax and breathe here. The more you relax, the deeper you'll be able to work in the pose. Feel free to spend 10 breaths there. And when you feel you've had enough, you can come out of it. Of course, again, once you've done one side, make sure that you do the other side. Opening up your body on both sides, keeping yourself balanced. Breathe into the pose.